Hello and welcome back to my Fallout 3 playthrough. I'm Anisian and today we're off to Little Lamplight to track down a Garden of Eden creation kit to get Project Purity back online. Now last time we lost our dear papa at the hand of Colonel Autumn, that enclave puppet, uh, who we we'll later find out is still alive because he managed to inject himself with some kind of anti-rad medication so that he survived the radiation spike our father caused. Uh, I would call that a spoiler, but if you haven't already played Fallout 3, which came out in like 2008, then you're not going to be playing it anytime soon. So, off to Vault 87 and Little Lamplight. As it happens, the Brotherhood has some information about Vault 87. Let me show you what we know. But I know where it is. This map shows the locations of all known vaults in the local area. Vault 87 has been highlighted for you. There. Entrance to Vault 87 will be particularly difficult for you, I'm afraid. Why? I know why, but... The area is highly irradiated. Lethal levels are all around the entrance. Gaining direct access will be... quite impossible. That's alright. <laughs> There's got to be another way. You share your father's determination, it seems. Vault 87 is located very close to the site of Lamplight Caverns. Oh. It is entirely probable that the vault may be entered from within the caves. The radiation proved fatal and so our efforts were focused elsewhere. Perhaps you will have more success. Well, obviously, I'm the protagonist. Don't hurry back. So I've already left an impression on him. Is that a bed? What the fuck? That's like an unwrapped texture for a mattress. Well, I've just stopped off at Megaton because I need to uh, speak with what's his face to get the bomb deactivated. deactivated. Got my eye on. He still doesn't like me. Oh no! I should go and disarm the bomb first. So I disarm the bomb. Tell him. Get a house. Dump the stuff. Get rid of the scrap metal. Yeah, and I get 500 caps for this baby because we negotiated and somehow won the speech check first time. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. So, I'm not going to need that or that. I won't need that or that. And I don't need those. 100 pounds of equipment is not bad. And I can bring it down even more by reading the books I've just picked up. Detour complete. Let us head to... Where has my quest changed? That one. Why did that deactivate itself? Smith Casey's garage. Ooh. No. No. Uh oh, mines! Yeah! <laughs> no, no, no! Will you stop? <laughs> wow, you guys are terrible! Oh, we got a hunting rifle! Wow, that did nothing! Shit! Ah, uh, that's what you get. I do believe there are super mutants in this area. Ah, ha, 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 hello. Right on cue. Nope, 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 nope. Oof. There you go. Yeah. Oh, somebody's engaging in combat with... With what? Oh, why are you attacking a Brahmin? You evil bastard. You're a little bit more than wounded. <laughs> ah, little lamplight. And now, we are introduced to McCready. Hold it right there, lady. Don't take another step or we'll blow your fucking head off. <laughs> Bring it. I really need to get into Vault 87. Can I come in? Hell 
no! Aww. No Mungo's allowed! I'm no Mungo! Oh god. Dare I say? Well, Fuck okay. yes! But you better not be lying, or else we'll shoot you. <laughs> Every time I've tried my speech checks with really low percentage chance of actually winning, it's always gone through perfectly. Sticky. You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. Oh, really? The big ones. You know, the ones that sort of look like people, except they're all wrong. Yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. You sure about that? It's scary in there. Murder Even Pass. I don't like going in there, and I'm really brave. Okay, if you say so. Come on, let's get the gate open for you, Mungo. Yeah, so I think you can either go by Murder Pass and he just opens it up straight away for you, but it takes a bit longer and there's a lot more super units in there. Or you can open a backdoor access to Vault 87, uh, but you need to access the computer by Joseph's help. And Joseph, I've always found, is a pain to find in this place. He's never where you think he is. Or he, like, he's not by the back door, like McCready suggests. I always have trouble finding him. It's really annoying. Right, so murder pass. Whoop. <laughs> Hi. Uh, me. Surprise attack. Oh, I missed. Ooh, fell over. What the hell exploded? Oh, that's. <gasps> no, I didn't. He's got a rocket launcher. Okie dokie. Uh, ow. Ooh. Oh, I think I jumped into that one. You can't use it straight up. <laughs> Yeah. Burn. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> oh, and you're stuck. Oh well, that's your problem. <gasps> oh, you're not stuck anymore. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh dear. You want to come to me? Well, I'm not hiding, and you know that I'm there. So come get me. I can't see a thing. No, 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 no. It's not working. Take this. Woo! There you go. Oop. Ooh, I blew some of my money back. Thank you. I have this with one missile. Right. There we go. So that's whittled them down a little bit. Bum rush them. Nope. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Oh, there's still another one. Where are you? Put the gun down. Come on, put it down. Ooh. Oh, come on! Why is that not classified as a bed? Come on! Yeah. See, that's the thing. I could. What the fuck? Okay. I could just push that mattress back onto the main bed and just sleep on it. I mean, there's not a lot stopping me from doing that. Besides arbitrary in game mechanics, or lack thereof. I'm sort of holding off on healing myself, just in case I come across a bed. I don't want to waste all those items. <gasps> running away, running a fucking way. <laughs> I just heard a twang and saw something drop from the ceiling. Yeah. Wait, is it nearly broken already again? It is. Oh, you're a master, though. Oof, right, okay. Here we are. In Vault 87. Nope, nope. <gasps> nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Maybe I should be paying attention to the traps and not just wandering around aimlessly. 
Okay, so now I've got two choices. I can either acquire the Gek without the help of somebody, or acquire the help of somebody. And if you've played this game before, you know who that somebody is. It's our friendly old neighbourhood super mutant, Forks. Someone just go into the room. I, I, yeah. no more games. Oh, that didn't do a lot. No. Ah, not the gun out of your hand. Just punch me! It's not that funny. Oh, maybe it is a little bit funny. Knock the gun out of his hand. Good. Woo! What have you got? A nail board? Ooh. Oh my! I think he was allergic to the super sledge. Maybe it's like the repellent stick, but for super mutants. My, there is a lot of viscera around here. <laughs> Apparently, I missed something. Stone <gasps> makes you bad. I did miss something. <gasps> Hello. Oh, you got a sledgehammer? I have a super sledge. I win. Ow. Oh my. No more games. Time to die. Oh. Bam, bam, bam. Oh. Oh my. Look at the mess you made all over that projector. How rude of you. Oh, there's another bed. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Squidgy bag. Oh, hello. What are you doing? Are you having problems getting past that light? I'll help you. Yeah. Not surprised. Oh. You have more blood than face. Ow. Fuck you. I couldn't agree more. Smashy, smashy, indeed. You lost the smashy, smashy game. Oh. Uh oh. There's two of you. Yeah, you're not going to flank me, bitch. Whoosh. There we go. Come on, come on. Now you went. <laughs> I went and got you mad, did I? So it's nothing like suicidally. There you go. And I dinged again. <laughs> All employees were freed. Ooh, total deceased 93, natural deaths 4. Two accidental and 87 unexplained. Ouch. Oh, loads of people dead. Heart disease, cerebrovascular disease, bronchitis, emphysema and asthma, liver disease or cirrhosis, cancer type 1, cancer type 2, unexpected organ failure, age, accidental deaths, massive radiation overdose, massive toxin overdose. Okay, so let's go back to that list. So, 87 people died from UD000. Undefined explained. So why would you have that as a category if you don't... Ugh. That's just confusing. Oh. Ah, test labs. This is where I wanted to be. I think we see some creepy shit in this place. Ooh. Fellas. Hello. <laughs> No, 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 don't run away. Oh, I'm gonna run away. Ah! That's the one thing I can't deal with, is you running away. Oh, hello. Ow. There we go. And you dropped your gun! Oh, Jesus. Is there a bed in here? Ooh. 
And here we see our first FEV failed test subject. That is so creepy. Time to die! Oh yeah! Whoop! You don't have much in the way of eyes, they're really small. That did nothing to you! Are you kidding me? Why is this doing nothing? Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Okay, fine, if you're gonna run, I'm just gonna chuck shit at you. Because guess what? Yeah. Chief Physician's Terminal. Here we go. Entry 87, blah, 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 blah. The latest subjects in the evolutionary experimentation program are showing some promise after only a single exposure to the modified FEV. We are currently testing five subjects, two males and three females. Each one of them is under 24-hour observation as usual. We hope to have a breakthrough in this strain as the continual pressure from Voltec and the military at Mariposa is becoming most bothersome. So they were doing these FEV tests before Super Mutants kicked in. I mean, they created the Super Mutants, but... So basically what they know is... The more FEV they're exposed to, the more androgynous they become in their physical appearance. So you can't tell male from female. Because that's the thing, you never ask, what does a female super mutant look like? <laughs> Same as a male one, apparently. Oh! You, you over there! Please, uh, come speak to me! Uh, I'm in the room to your left! Oh, use the intercom next to the window! It can't be! Hehe! <laughs> Well, you are going quite mad. Actually, be a pure human. As close as you can get. Give me one good reason not to kill you. What's the matter with you? I assure you, I'm unlike the others in this dank place. The name's Fox. I'd shake your hand, but this room happens to be my prison cell. If you've been here as long as I can imagine, maybe you can help me. Perhaps. Oh. <laughs> the Gek? I've never heard of this. What do you know about the Gek? I know what it is. I know where it is. And best of all, I know how you can get your hands on it. Let me out of this place, and I'll retrieve the Gek for you. I'm not worried. I can mow down whatever's in my way. Except radiation. Unless your weapons can destroy radiation. Damn it! <laughs> I'd say that will prove difficult. The Gek is in a chamber, flooded with deadly radiation. Now is that intentional or accidental? Law. However, I can. I've already helped you by warning you about the radiation. True. Take that as a gesture of good faith. So... <laughs> you know what, folks? What do you say? I like you. You've got a deal. Oh, I'm, I'm not a sensible person. Now, Trust me. Right, so, to let him out, I have to trip the alarm system, which opens up every room in the complex, which releases all the centaurs and all the supermutants and all the crap waiting to kill me. Or, I could go for the Gek myself and not bother with the forks at all. Or, okay, or isn't this... God damn it, there isn't a third or. My other or was I could each open each room individually, one by one. Deal with all of the crap inside. Oh hello. One by one, and then activate the fire alarm. Oop. Nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> oh, hello. Boosh. Stop screaming at me and just come for me. Oh, there we go. There we go. 
let's open up. Wait, which of these rooms has a bed? I'll open up that room and sleep in the bed. Hello. Oh. Where's he gone? Oh, he's even further stuck in the wall now. There we go. Please let... Mm -hmm. <gasps> Fuck off! <laughs> That's so annoying. Well, what room was he in? I'll open up all of the rooms first. Kill everyone. He's in five. So I'll open one, two, three. And then I'll open five later. So I want to clear this place first. Because I don't want him nicking all my kills. Oh! Sid! Okay, fine. Whoop! Are we safe now? <gasps> Makeshift bedding! Oh, thank fuck. I will clear the way first, and then I will come back for you, folks. How about that? Oh, how did that miss? Come on. Oh. Stop running backwards. Hee <laughs> hee. No running. <laughs> You're also in about 10,000 pieces. There we go. Of course. Now, just to show you how incredibly irradiated this place is. I will attempt to get it. But I'm saving first, because I have often died. There's this bit in the middle where you don't take any radiation damage at all. Oh jeez, look how quick my radiation went up. And there she is, the mighty Gek. Right, now to head back and unlock Forks. Aha! I think this is the supply closet. Yeah, this is the closet that you can get all of your anti-rad stuff if you do... Ooh! If you do intend to take the Gek by yourself. I'm just going to open your isolation chamber. I can't be asked to set the alarms off because the alarm is really annoying. And you can't turn it off. Hello! Finally. I cannot thank you enough for this gift. Now, for my part of the bargain. Follow oh, me. I forgot about this bit. Oh shit, again, Karma. Fuck. Maybe I shouldn't have killed everyone, because at least if there are enemies for him to take on, he'd at least be rushing towards the destination. Sigh. <laughs> Oh, come on! Ugh. For fork's sake! Okay, you stay here. Beyond this door, the hallways and chambers are flooded with radiation. I'll get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open! There and isn't anybody left alive, Forks. I've killed everyone. What I can do is I can watch him through the window. Hi, Fox! Hi, Fox! Hi, Fox! Hi, Fox! Hi, Fox! Here's the Gek. Our bargain is complete. As promised, here's the Gek. I hope it's worth it. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere in the, the wasteland. What? Hi fellas. 
Ow. Objective is secured, sir. You again. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my vertebrae. Even in death, your yes, meddling sir. continues. You're certain she's unharmed? Well, at least he got my fucking gender right yes, this time. Sir. Jesus. Well, that's a shortly. perfect place to leave it off for next time, man. Excellent. Perfect cliffhanger. Prepare her Although, for I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get taken to Raven right away, Rock, sir. and I have to meet President Eden, the spooky computer. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe where appropriate. And toodles!